welcome to Coffee Manufacturing. Thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to debut our latest addition to our product line, our OD grinding machine. My name is Bob Davis, and I'm going to take a few minutes and uh, show you around the machine a little bit. The machine, as you can see, is fairly small and compact. It is designed to be a field serviceable unit. It's designed to be, be sold in one of three ways. One, plugged into a shop. Two, put it in the back of a truck, take it out to a field location, get generator power out there and power the machine. And three, we plan on trailer mounting these units right here and using a diesel engine to power them with. In that case right there, let's walk around the machine a little bit. Operator station is right here. Everything operates from this area. As you can tell, all your gauges are sitting right here so the operator can watch what's happening. We've got our Lexan window right here to make sure that the operator is safe, although I still recommend that we wear our proper PPE. We've got our on-off button is right here, close to the operator. The wrenches are mounted right here, close to the operator for changing out the grinding wheel. Continuing on around the machine, the machine is collapsible. We can uh, pull the pins out of these legs, loosen these pinch bolts right here, collapse this machine all the way down to seven foot tall. It ends up to be seven foot tall and four foot wide. We can look down the center of the machine here. You can see that, the, that everything is made to accommodate three and a half inch up to 10 inch OD collars. We can do three and a half drill pipe, all your variations of drill pipe, including center wear pads with heavyweight drill pipe, including range three with the unit. In its present configuration right here, everything is designed to be operated out of way. You can see that we have enough jack hose on here to be able to extend our jacks out. We have 750 pound ball transfer rollers on top, 13 inch stroke pinnable adjustable jack legs so whatever the combination is that we run into with the variation of uh, the various leases that we have to work on or working in a yard uh, the machine is able to obtain all of that continuing right on around the machine you can see right here mounted in the center of the machine we have a 35 gallon hydraulic tank we have a hydraulically motor driven fan assembly with a radiator cooler up here on the front the entire machine is powered by hydraulics We've been able to seal up the hydraulics tight enough on this unit right here where grindings and things of that nature right there will not affect this machine in any way. Coming right on around the machine, you can see the various guards and what have you that we've built. This right here controls our kerf, you know, sends it down here to this box. In this box right here, we can clean this box out, you know, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, depending upon how much grinding that we're actually doing with the machine. The machine has the ability to do everything that we need to be able to do with the machine in our industry for primarily the hard banding market. You can look at our grinding wheel that we have here. We have a 14 inch OD grinding wheel by three and a quarter inches wide. Basically doing the math on that, you're able to cover our standard drill pipe applications in one shot with that. We have our guard over the top of it. We have a lid that opens up. The lid opens up obviously for changing out the wheel. Moving right on around the machine. You can see the drum rollers that we have right here. They're a six inch OD drum roller by eight inches long. They are rubber. They are hydraulically applied. So what we're doing is we're pinching the pipe with four rollers guaranteeing that that pipe is going to rotate no matter how wet or how dry or how nasty that pipe is. It will turn. Now we have guards on here. We have hydraulic motors that drive these upper and lower rollers. They're running via chains. So we have our guards in place. We have our electric motor here that's, grinding, that's uh, operating our hydraulic pump. And what we're doing here, this is a totally enclosed and fan cooled motor. There again, the dust and what have you cannot affect that motor. We kind of did a walk around of the machine. Let's go around and start our operation of the machine. Okay, this is how we turn the machine on. All of our handles are in conjunction with the way that our jacks are situated.
Let's talk for a minute about some of the reasons why we may want to remove a hard band. Sometimes, depending upon the uh, type of drilling that they're doing, they want you to apply a hard band and then just slick the top of it off. As you see, this machine will do a fine job of that. Another example that we have right here would be the removal of a hard band down to your parent metal. That way we can you know, maybe change the type of wire that we have on there. Maybe our hard band isn't right for our drilling application. The other thing is we can grind out if we continue grinding down on the tool joint right here, we can grind out impurities that are in the metal. Here's a good example of this. This material right here needs to be ground out some more for proper reapplication of a hard band. You can see here the machine is able to, to uh, complete the center wear pad of heavyweight on both ends. Obviously, we could have done this uh, the end of the tool joint right here, but you can already see that here, right here in our example. We want to thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to debut our new product line here. The OD grinders are going to be a real big splash for us, and we look forward to working for you.